President Trump ending the longest government shutdown in U.S. history. I am very proud to announce today that we have reached a deal to end the shutdown and reopen the federal government. After 35 days of deadlock with Democrats over his demand for $5.7 billion for a border wall, Trump conceding. The House and Senate now passing a bill to reopen the government and the president finally signing it last night. But it's a short-term bill that doesn't pay for the wall. Just three weeks of funding. I have no complaint. We asked the president to open up government so we would have time to have a debate on the best way to protect our border. Air traffic controllers who are working without pay calling out of work in mass Friday, causing flight delays at major airports. The staff shortage even causing a ground stop at New York's LaGuardia Airport. American 970, I got a reroute for you. The S&P rating agency suggesting the shutdown cost the U.S. economy at least $6 billion, more than the president's request for the border wall. Federal workers who dealt with financial insecurity for the past month finally going to be paid. I will make sure that all employees receive their back pay very quickly or as soon as possible. But Trump warning, the fight is not over. We're going to work with the Democrats, we're going to see. Uh, and if we can't do that, then we'll do, uh, obviously, we're going to do the emergency, because that's what it is. It's a national emergency. Overnight, responding to backlash from conservatives, tweeting, this was in no way a concession. It was taking care of millions of people who were getting badly hurt by the shutdown, with the understanding that in 21 days, if no deal is done, it's off to the races. The president's political rivals relishing in his defeat and still saying no to a border wall. Are you no longer ruling out any money for the wall? Are you now? Well, uh, wait, wait, wait. Have I not been clear on a wall? Okay. No, I have been very clear on the wall. No one should ever underestimate the speaker, as Donald Trump has learned. Our Democrats stayed totally unified.